There's always a walk. A weasel walk. Walk in the weasel. First thing in the morning. Okay, oh, and there's a pole right there. No, don't pee on someone's trailer. That's not very nice. Don't do that. Okay, yeah, that's that's a good post right there. That, that's a good one. Literally just woke up and dragged ourselves out of the truck or fell out of the truck, whatever you want to call it. Didn't hurt myself, don't worry. Landed on my feet because I'm a professional faller. So, uh, oh, Diesel, don't eat that. That's gross. Man, people seriously stop littering in the truck stop what is wrong with people people are so lazy I'm not starting the day off on a negative note though so we are in where are we diesel where are we st. cloud Minnesota and we're about six hours from our destination in Morden Manitoba Canada so we're gonna be crossing the border in a few hours and uh, we better get going because I only left myself about an hour wiggle room well, actually about two hours. I told them I would be there this afternoon. And they said as long as I'm there before they close at like five. And I'm thinking I'll be there at two, but I want to be there before three. Does that make sense? Diesel, are you, are, you, are you just gonna eat all the garbage? That is not okay. No eating garbage. Make you sick. If you get sick in my truck, that's not cool. This is our mornings. Me sitting out here talking to a camera and Diesel sniffing every blade of grass he can reach every single day. The only time he actually like hey, hurries up is in wintertime. And it's cold, you know. So Alright Diesel, come on, come on. We're gonna go walk him over there on the other side. There's some long grass. He likes the longer grass better. Longer the better. You ready, Diesel? He's sitting over there, he's ready staring out the window. Let's go already, man. Okay, here we go, we're in gear. I'll do a little tug test just in case, just for my own peace of mind. Still attached. Good. Can you imagine if I lose my trailer? That could really kill someone. That could kill a whole pile of people. I don't kill people. All right, Diesel, here we go. Leaving the pilot flying, Jay, I always lock my doors when I drive, just in case, I don't know, if I come up to a stoplight, someone jumps on the truck, just in case, you know, it's always good to be safe, right? I know I talk about safety a lot, safety this, safety that, ah! I told you the other day, right, because it's always the trucker's fault, no matter what happens out there, you're guilty and still until proven innocent, it's backwards, I know, it's not supposed to be like that, but... We're the professional drivers. We're supposed to be aware of everything that's going on around us. A lot of responsibility in driving these rigs. We weigh a lot. For instance, if I'm not paying attention and being dumb and texting and driving or something, and traffic comes to a stop because of construction or something and I don't notice, and I plow into the back turn right up of everything. South. Then turn Thanks, off. Mandy. <clears throat> if I plow into the back of everybody at full speed with my full 80,000 pounds, those first couple of cars are not going to stop me. The second few cars are not going to stop me. Fourth, fifth, sixth cars might slow me down a bit. I-94 West towards Alexandria. Right. Let's get on the freeway here. Start giving her. They have one of these on-ramps again that's on the uphill. Makes it very difficult to get a semi up to highway speed but by the time you gotta merge. I'm giving her right now, that's all I got. Gotta get up to highway speed. All 460 horses just a galloping. I think I have 460 horses. What do I know? I don't know. Free and clear. Alright. Well, these guys are all working on the power lines here. I've seen helicopters flying around and all kinds of stuff. I don't know what they're doing really. Well, look at this, they got something stretched right out over the road. What is 
Oh, that's so that the wires don't fall on us. Ah. I see. That is so much work setting up all those towers and all those wires. Wow. That must have cost a fortune. Because that goes on for like miles and miles and miles, right? And in order to get those wires up there and all the stuff up to the top of those uh, poles, they have a helicopter bringing the supplies up and those little guys up there, they're grabbing the stuff off rope hanging below the helicopter, right? I guess it's cheaper doing it that way or quicker or something. Wouldn't mind being that helicopter pilot though. I'm sure he's going home to a pretty penny. If I see another one, I'll get it on the camera. But... Oh, we're getting close to Canada. Those of you who watched me for long enough know how I know this. Lack of people tells us we're close to the border. Oh, not that there's many people in Manitoba either, but that's what's kind of nice about being there, right? Manitoba's sort of like camping all year round. Probably more bears than people. If you count the whole province, I mean, the whole thing. In the south, obviously, there's tons of people everywhere in certain areas, but you up north, I've never been up there. I really want to go up there, so I can't really speak from experience. The farthest north I've gone is uh, halfway up to Grand Rapids in Manitoba. Oh, we just got into Canada, and first question they have is, how heavy are you? Nice of you to ask. Diesel is very concerned about something. Diesel, what's going on? Why are you barking, man? You see a cow? Got a bunch of people looking at you right now. How does it make you feel? <laughs> You're just freaking out a second ago. I couldn't figure out what he was barking at. What were you barking at, man? Oh, yeah? Yeah, really? What are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do? People can't see you when you're over there, man. Alright. He was very concerned about something there for a second. So we're in the construction zone on the 75. In other words, we're on the 75. I'm gonna go back to the yard. I just talked to dispatch. Uh, looks like I'll probably be heading back to Iowa as it looks right now, but but you know trucking things change all the time. But if things go the way we think they might, I'd probably be going back to, to DeWitt, Iowa maybe, or Davenport, Iowa, that area. And then because uh, remember, I'm trying to stay close to home. I got a bunch of stuff going on this month. It sort of sucks for me. I'd like to get more miles in, but, you know, nothing I can do about it. And it's not dispatch's fault, because if, if it were up to them, they'd send me across the world on a trip, you know? They, they always get me the miles. They know I like miles, so they get me miles. But it's also nice of them to uh, help me out at times like this when I want to stay closer to home, then they work with me, right? Obviously, they wouldn't do this forever, but uh, I've been running pretty hard for the past five months. I've been averaging just over 12,000 miles per month since March when I bought this truck. Uh, today, I'm actually hitting 100,000 kilometers that I've put on this truck myself since March. That's March, April, May, June, July, just over five months. 100,000 kilometers, uh, 62,000 miles. If you do the math, that's just over 12,000 a month. So it's really nice that they're helping me out right now and uh, keeping me close to home so I can go to Vlogger Fair and then, and then move. And then I already told them, after I move and I'm settled in, I'll be back out there on the road. Wherever you needeth me, I shall go. Look at those sunflowers on the right there, eh? Nice. This is Highway 14 here. This leads us through Winkler into Morden. Shout out to all you people living out in that area. I know there's a bunch of you. I know, you can't hide. I know you're there. Got a bunch of family living out here too. This is the other, the other side of the river. In history, it was the other uh, Mennonite settlement. Now it's another Canadian city. 
Yonzi. I think that's what they call it, right? The other side. There's the Red River between us. Steinbach is Dietze, this side. And Winkler is Yonzi, the other side. That side. And I'm from this side, not this, this side. I'm from, I'm from the good side. <laughs> Can't say that. Both cities are amazing. Correct me if I said that wrong. Well, we made it home. You didn't forget that we're moving yet, did you? <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in here. How much stuff do I own? Yes, I play drums. Everyone's been asking. You play drums, Chuck Josh? I didn't know. I know because I haven't had room to set them up anywhere, right? Maybe at the new house I'll have room to actually set them up and play them. And yes, those are subwoofers for a vehicle. Yes, I'd like to put them in my truck one day. But I've got to figure out how to do that first. A million other things to do first. So it was a good day. Good day of driving. I uh, didn't really drive very far. About six hours, I guess. Into Morden. And then uh, the plans right now are to call into work tomorrow. And I'll probably be leaving Saturday night or Sunday morning. Going back to Iowa or something. It might change yet. We don't know. But that's the plans right now. For now, I'm all packed up. I've got nothing left to do except just sit around and watch TV now. And wait. That's right. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go over there. I'm going to watch some YouTube on the big screen. How about it? You guys want to come watch with me? Well, you're already watching YouTube. <laughs> All right, guys, so you guys sent me some stuff again, and uh, instead of putting it all in one video, I sort of try to put it in the video as I get it. This one comes from... Bum, 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 bum. James in Ohio. Akron, Ohio. Sent me a hat. Thompson Electric Incorporated. Nice. How do I look? Let me turn the screen around so I can see too. How do I look? Not bad. I like it. Camo? I like it. Thank you. I like it. What else do you send in here? Oh, is that treats for Diesel? Diesel? Is there something for you in here? I think so, man. I've been sniffing it the whole time. What's this? What is that right there? Is there three little treats right there, man? Are those for you? Oh, I think they're for me, man. They look like they're for me. I don't. I've never seen you eat a treat like that. Very true. Let's give them to him right now. All right, Diesel. <laughs> Smells good. How's it smell, guys? How's it smell, Diesel? You want it? Take it, man. Take it. Take, take it. Yeah. Oh, oh, not my fingers. Not my fingers, man. There you go. Good boy. Yeah, I'm gonna go eat it over here, man. Good boy. You enjoy that. Thank you very much, James, for sending us this stuff. All the way from Ohio. Cool, and he sent a letter in here too. I got everything. The letter says, just wanted to say how much he likes my videos. A little something for you and Diesel. Hope you can use it. Well, yes, we sure can. Diesel's using it right now to fill his belly. Thank you. He says, just want to say how much we like your videos. So there's more than one person there watching the videos. Cool. And one other thing came in from Gerald in San Antonio, Texas. He is an architect and he knows that I'm trying to uh, build a shop or that I'm, I bought a property that I want to build a shop eventually on it, right? And he sent me uh, blueprints of how it could work, you know? There's the shop part there. Gave all the measurements and everything, the living quarters. This is super awesome. This is really cool. Thank you so much for sending this to me. This is a good, good plan. You know, now that I've bought this house, 
uh, I don't think I'll be living in the shop, but I will uh, be building a shop on the property. The property is a lot smaller than I had at first wanted. Uh, I got less land, but that means less property taxes, right? Um, but the house made up for it because the house is really nice. But uh, he also sent me a couple of uh, brochures. Excuse me while I sneeze. Here with you. Thank you, Diesel. Yeah, man. When you sneeze, you sneeze. So he sent me uh, prices and whatnot of a couple of brochures of buildings, of uh, shops and stuff. So that is awesome. That gives me a really good uh, uh, idea of how much it's going to cost me to build my shop. Now, I don't know how big I'll be able to build the shop. Because, like I said, the yard is a bit smaller. It might just be like a one-truck garage shop type deal. I don't know, but we'll worry about that in the future. Right now, we're just going to get moved in there and get all the uh, services hooked up, right? Because uh, there's still no cell phone service there. I actually found out that uh, there are no providers that provide cell phone service there. Cell phones, the towers only cover up to about a mile from town. Uh is it a mile from town or a half mile from town? Anyways, they say I can get a cell phone booster, a powerful one, and then I can boost the signal, and then I'll get a signal in my house. And there is a internet service that provides wireless internet. The tower is about a quarter mile away, or a half mile away. And apparently it's decent internet. Not the best, but they have rumors that they're getting DSL internet, uh, fiber optics, installed soon. But they say that they've been talking about that for a while. Apparently Manitoba government, the provincial government, is saying that by the year 2015 they want every single resident to have access to cell phones at least so at least they're putting up a few more towers i hope but yeah this is country you want country trucker josh you got country i'll have a landline phone it's not like i won't have any communication and at least there's internet right hey diesel yeah man yeah man there's lots of dogs around there for you to play with man oh yeah so I'm going to log in here and watch some YouTube. I still can't get over how much stuff I own. Like, what in the world? That green thing is a Christmas tree. Yes. <laughs> like enough hockey sticks for a whole team. Diesel, what do you think of all this? That's a lot of stuff, man. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> yep. So anyways, uh, this is the end of the day, guys. We're shutting off all the lights as we're going back towards the bedroom. Doors are locked, I just checked. Thanks for joining me today, guys. If you're new to the channel, or if you're not new, there are new things in the description. One second, I know you can't see me right now. You can still hear me though, right? One second, I can't see anything either. I can't see where I'm going. Ow! Alright, okay, there we go. Hey, Diesel! Can you see in the dark, man? I can't see in the dark. So, guys, there's new things in my description you'll have noticed over the past week. If you go down to the description, the first link is what I've been doing on this day exactly one year ago. So, there's a link there. So, if you like this video, and if you've followed me for a while, and you're wondering, I wonder what Trucker Josh was doing exactly one year ago today. Go down below to the description box. There's a link that'll take you to the video and the vlog. So, guys, say goodbye to Diesel. Diesel, anything? Anything to say to the good people? Come here, Diesel. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. You're so shy in front of the camera. I'm going to have to research why dogs are so shy in front of the camera. There's got to be something, man, right? You got a very nice sniffer, man. I don't know why you're so shy on camera. But whatever. Okay, guys. I'll see you tomorrow at 4 a.m. Central Time here in North America. Because that's where I'll be. I have a video up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And Saturday and Sunday. Every single day of the week there's a new video up. So I'll see you then, tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time.